The motion is agreed to. Congress overwhelmingly passed a $1.2 trillion budget bill to avert a partial government shutdown, keeping key federal agencies funded through a fiscal year that began six months ago. President Joe Biden signed it into law after the Democratic majority Senate passed the bill in the early hours of Saturday. Its passage means federal agencies, including the Departments of Defense, Homeland Security, Justice, State, and Treasury will remain funded through September 30th. It is a complete departure of all of our principles. After the Republican-led House of Representatives passed the bill on Friday, hardline conservative Congresswoman Marjorie Taylor Greene threatened to force a vote to remove Republican House Speaker Mike Johnson for allowing the measure to advance. Johnson, as he has done more than 60 times since taking over from his ousted predecessor, Kevin McCarthy, relied on a parliamentary maneuver to bypass the Republican hardliners, which required support from Democrats. Green's threat had echoes of October when a small band of hardliners engineered a vote that removed McCarthy for also relying on Democrats to pass a stopgap measure to avert another partial government shutdown. Some Democrats said they would vote to keep Johnson if he were to call a vote on the $95 billion security assistance package for Ukraine, Israel, and Taiwan, which has already been approved by the Senate. So far, Johnson has ignored it. That measure is unlikely to come up anytime soon as lawmakers will now leave Washington for a two-week break. Republican opposition to more funding for Ukraine has led to fears that Russia could seriously erode Ukraine's ability to continue defending itself.